Kim Mulkey is still the greatest head coach in Baylor's history. When she decided to make a change last April, the sky felt like it was falling in Waco. Matt Lively reports from Kansas City. Less than one year ago, the most impressive coach in Baylor history walked out the door. For the women's basketball team, it's been an impressive journey from that moment to now. It's official Kim Mulkey is headed to LSU to become the next women's basketball head coach. Most of the time you walk on Baylor's campus, you hear Sikkim Bears over and over again. Today, I think most Bears fans were simply just sick to their stomach. Uh, I mean, we had heard rumors about it um, in the past and she denied them, you know, kind of acted like she didn't know what was going on, kind of clueless in a way. It definitely hurt. I remember like a lot of people were talking about it on social media where they were like, uh, we think Kim's going to leave and all this other stuff. And we were reading it. We were like, nah, she's not going nowhere. She's not going nowhere. April 25th, 2021. It was the first time in 21 years Baylor was without a women's basketball coach. Kim Mulkey and her three national championships were heading for the Bayou. Like, that's who I came here for. Like, I think a lot of people, when Kim was here, would say I came to be coached by Kim Mulkey. Mulkey was gone and the door was open for Nikki Collin. She actually called me like the night she got the job and that means a lot as a head coach to call you and make sure that she still wants you to know that she wants you here and wants you to play a big role in the team. And so I think um, that was a big step for me. The former WNBA coach had a shaky start with losses in the first two conference games. Since then, it's been nothing short of brilliant. Are you kidding me? Yeah! 25 wins a Big 12 regular season title and the betting favorite here in KC for the tournament. She really, really believes that we can do some amazing things and that, that's a great feeling. They say celebrate endings, they bring new beginnings. Collins players are over those new beginnings. They're just looking forward to the new celebrations. To everybody who has said bad things about Nikki, I feel like this is her opportunity and it's just, it's just ours for the taking and she deserves it. The team can prove that sentiment during their first game on Friday here in Kansas City. With the Bears, Matt Lively, Six Sports.